Well, journalist Frank Kelbers joins us live now from Bucharest to uh, speak in more detail about this. Thank you very much for your time, uh, uh, Frank. Now, Moldova is currently, as we heard there, in talks with the EU on becoming a member. So just how significant is this recent vote and how surprising was it? This is absolutely a watershed moment for uh, Moldova. Uh, President uh, Maya Sander took a risk by um, proposing to parliament to organize a referendum alongside the presidential uh, elections. And it's been very sus suspenseful uh, 24 hours, but, but her, her bet paid off. And uh, it's important to, to point out that the the current government, uh, led by by um, President Maya Sandu, um, really uh, with this referendum has mobilized uh, a lot of Moldovans to um, to look westward, to look towards uh, Europe, and uh, this referendum will sustain her her government's policy of of joining the EU, of moving away from from the east, from from Moscow. And this will be the first time in the history of Moldova that this is um, happening on a sustained basis, more than just one election cycle. Now, as we were hearing there, Maya Sandu, uh, she, she denounced the narrow result as the product of foreign interference. We've seen in the per past that accusations have been made uh, of attempts to rig the votes. Has, uh, has there been any, any response from, uh, from Russia or has anyone directly accused Russia of meddling? No, only indirectly. Also, President Sandu herself didn't name uh, Russia. Only um, some uh, members of the European Commission and some European um, ministers have uh, to date. Uh, from Moscow, the, the spokesperson for uh, President Putin said there had been interference from the uh, from Brussels, <laughs> uh, ironically. And uh, you have to really r realize that that the interference was really massive. I mean, uh, there were several um, uh, conspiracies that that were. Um, um, discovered just leading up to the elections. There was a lot of money that was sent up from Moscow to pay voters to vote no in the referendum and to vote against Maya Sandu. Uh, and so I think despite the fact that this is a very close vote, very narrow uh, majority, um, just a few thousand, uh, like 20,000 votes, um, I think the, the current administration uh, and President Maya Sandu really have a mandate to to pursue to continue their their uh, road to their to integrate into Europe uh, and in the first instance uh, joining the EU by 2030. Frank, really appreciate your time. Thank you very much, Frank Albers, being just live there from Bucharest. You're welcome.